That's what we thought. We're gonna do some happy flags today. So we're happy. You're gonna be happy the whole time. So rocking side to side, nice and easy. You can do the circling motions if you like. I'm working out in a hoodie because it is cold, right? You know, I don't like being cold. I'd rather get really sweaty. If I had to choose between being really hot or really cold, I think I would choose really hot, right? I don't know, that's something to think about. Then you're gonna hug your right knee to your chest, left leg out straight, and we're gonna go side to side there. Oh yeah, get those hip flexors and hips moving, right? And on this, you could pull straight to your chest, you could pull a little bit wider if you wanted to, it's really up to you, whatever you like, right? It's Friday, so we'll be a little fun today, and you can mix it up how you like. So we're gonna go one more to each leg, then you're gonna have one leg up straight, Grab them behind that hamstring and we'll go side to side there, right? Stretching out those legs. My legs look a little bit tight today, but that's okay. I don't want you guys to think I'm too flexible, you know? I don't want you to think I'm like, oh, she never gets tight. <laughs> I did a good joke on it. So just nice and easy. We're gonna do some arm work today, lots of core because of core, so, right? Did you get it? I don't have my lap track button, but if I did, what ha ha. So one more to each leg. And then we're gonna relax our legs down. And we're gonna do some core bracing to get us warmed up there. So we're gonna start with our modified dead butt. So making sure you're drawing those belly button muscles, belly button, belly button in. You don't have more than one belly button. Then your arms are up straight. You're gonna bring opposite arm back, opposite leg forward, and you're going side to side. So your main focus right here is your core, right? Your arms and legs aren't too complicated here. And that's okay, right? So really tightening up that core. We're stretching on our arms, stretching out those legs, right? And we're still gonna have one foot on the ground. This time you're just gonna extend that leg out instead of keeping it bent, right? So we're still stretching out those quads. You still have a foot on the ground. We're not getting too wild and wacky yet, right? I won't get too crazy until we're about five minutes in. I don't know if that's the exact math, but. So we're gonna go one more to each side. Then we're gonna have our arms come down and we're gonna do some bridges. So feet are gonna stay down on the ground. Obviously you're gonna bridge, raise your arms up and then they come down as you come down, right? So your arms are just coming up straight, even with your shoulders and then back. So every time you're lifting into that bridge, Make sure that you're squeezing those glutes, right? We're waking them up. You're saying, good morning, glutes. How are you? Right, and your glutes hopefully would answer back, hey, we need to do Pilates, you know? That's usually what happens to me. Okay, so it's nice and control motions. On this next motion, you're gonna stay up in that bridge and you're just gonna do alternating arms. So one arm goes down, one comes up, and then you're gonna go to the other side. So squeeze those glutes, stretching out those arms, you don't have to touch the floor, but if you do, cool bonus points to you. Okay, and we're gonna go for about 10 more seconds here. Then we're gonna get back to that dead bug motion. Thank goodness, right? So we're gonna go five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna relax those hips down. Now we're gonna have both legs in tabletop, right? Arms are up straight, and we're gonna do that dead bug variation just a little bit harder. So drawing in those tummy muscles, we're gonna kick out and extend and come back. So if this felt like too much for you, you can repeat what you were doing before and always have a foot down, right? Otherwise, we're kicking out, right? And we're trying to step up our abs a little more, right? Because your abs are like, hey, it's Friday. We're gonna have like takeout tonight. I better do lots of abs. So every bite I take of food tonight, my abs will be like, woof, right? Yeah, I get it. Okay, so just nice and controlled. We've got about 10 seconds. Then we'll go back. It's a little more leg and arms. So we're gonna go four more. Here's one, two, three, and four. And you're gonna relax those legs down. And we're gonna do a single leg bridge. You're just gonna cross your right foot over to your left knee. Hands are down on the ground. And you're just gonna press up and back, right? So your hips can come all the way down to the floor. If a single leg bridge feels like too much for you, do a regular bridge, right? You're warming up. As long as you're moving today, that's all that counts. You don't have to be crazy, right? You don't have anything to prove. Nah, you already showed up. That's all that matters. Okay, you got five more. Here is one, 
two, three, four, and five. And we're gonna switch those legs. So right's down, left's over, up and out, right? So nice and controlled. Remember that you can do a regular bridge with both feet on the ground if you need to. Okay, don't be too crazy, but be a little crazy maybe. I'm kind of crazy, so that's okay though. I'm the good kind of crazy. You got five more. Here is one, here's two, here's three, here's four, here's five. And you're gonna relax. And we're gonna go through some of our core bracing moves here. So both legs are in tabletop. Your focus is keeping your back flat to that mat. So we're gonna keep our knees bent. You're gonna exhale, let one leg drop down. Inhale, it comes back up and you're just gonna go side to side, right? We've done these before. You don't have to touch the floor, right? Your head can stay down. You can even close your eyes on this and just really focus in on your core, right? It's kind of relaxing. It's not too awful, but it's, it's, it's a challenge. Okay, so make sure those knees are staying bent. I know someone somewhere is stretching out their leg. Do not stretch your leg out. Okay, so we're gonna go for about 10 more seconds. I'm just gonna time you. I won't tell you how many more to do. Okay, but I'm gonna go one more to each leg. You don't have to though. And then we're gonna have both legs in tabletop and we're gonna go for both. Okay, so a little bit harder. Exhale, we're coming down. Inhale, slowly bring those legs back up. Okay, you don't have to touch the mat. Pay attention to those abs, pay attention to your lower back. There's no point in going all the way down if your back is arching, right? We don't wanna arch in our back because that will not do you any good, okay? Smaller motions are easier to control, right? And with both legs, it gets a little bit harder, doesn't it? It does, I know. It's okay. Okay, so just nice and controlled. All right, we're gonna go one more here. And then keep those legs in tabletop. You're gonna bring hands behind your head. Elbows will stay wide. We're gonna turn this into a double crunch. So exhale, our legs slowly come down. Inhale, they slowly peel up. You lift into a crunch. Nice, easy inhale. You're gonna come apart. Okay, so it's just slow and controlled. Keep those elbows wide. Focusing on keeping that lower back down. The slower and more controlled you go, the better. Right, you gotta go slow mo. Right? And if you're going slow enough, your abs are going to shake like crazy. So go shake, shake, shake. Right? Shake, shake, shake. Shake your abs. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to do two more. Here is one. Here is two. And you're going to relax. Have those knees to your chest. Just rock side to side. Mm -hmm. Totally, totally, totally. Right? So we're going to grab our dumbbells. Right? I'm going to go a little bit heavier here. Okay, and we are gonna keep our back down, hips down. We're just gonna do our regular chest press motion. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna press up, you're gonna turn and twist your weights. So your pinkies are coming together and you'll tap your weights together and come back. So press, turn and twist and back. So as you're doing this, still pay attention to your core, keep that back down. Okay, are we ready? And go. So you're pressing, turning, twisting and back. Press and twist and back. So really tighten up that core. We just did those core bracing moves. So your abs should be a little bit fatigued, right? They're awake, you're aware of them. You know that they're there, okay? You're doing a great job. Exhale up, inhale back, control those weights. Don't just let your weights fall all over, okay? And you don't have to go fast. We are just moving through a pace that feels good to you today. So if your weights are heavier, you're probably going a little bit slower. If your legs are a little bit lighter, you might go faster, right? It's, you set that pace. Okay, we got five more. Here's one, here's two, here's three, four, and five. So next one, we're gonna have our weights up. You're up in your bridge and we're gonna do chest flex. So elbows are bent, exhale, you'll come apart. Inhale, coming together. Make sure your arms are not touching the floor. You've got a soft bend in those elbows. You're coming wide and squeezing, right? Holding that bridge if you can. If it hurts your back, don't do it. Okay, but control those weights on the way down. And up. this one is not a fast movement. It's pretty challenging, right? It's tough. It works your shoulders, your pecs, your arms, and your glutes with a bridge. Okay, so take your time with it. There's a lot more to this move than it looks like. 
Okay, you're doing a great job. We're gonna go five more here, right? So we're coming wide and together there's one, wide and together there's two, wide, together there's three, wide, together four, wide, together five. So staying in that bridge, your weights are together. As your weights come down, your hips come down, you press up, your hips come up. Okay, so down and up. So you're squeezing those weights together. We're getting a little bit of a tricep press through this motion. Okay, squeeze those glutes, right? And you're just moving along. Arms and body are connected here, okay? Keep on squeezing, keep on breathing, keep on pressing, right? If it feels easy, go up and wait if you can, right? If you don't have heavier weights, you could always go heels down, toes up on that bridge. Okay, but we're gonna get enough reps in here that your arms should be burning. I'm using tens and my arms are burning, okay? Got five more, there's one, two, three, four, and five. You're gonna relax, set those weights down. We're going back to core braces. So now, if you can, you're gonna have both legs up straight, you're gonna hold your crunch, if at any point you need one leg down, do it, right? So make sure your elbows are wide, act like you've got an apple between your chin and your chest, exhale, one leg comes straight down, inhale, it comes back up. So you're going side to side, okay? So another way you can modify this if you wanna do the bent knee that we just did, you could do that too, okay? But we're just nice and easy going side to side, pay attention to that lower back, right? And my arms are kind of hard or tired holding the crunch. That's a good sign, isn't it? Mm -mm. Okay, nice. And control. So again, go at a pace that feels good to you. Remember, you don't have to touch the floor or go close to the floor. So we're gonna go about one more to each side. Here's one and two. So now we're going both legs. So hands are staying behind our head, not underneath our back. Exhale, you're gonna come down. Inhale, come back up, right? Small motions are perfect, right? If you're coming all the way down here, you better be paying attention to that back and take your time, right? Make sure your legs aren't whipping up, okay? Keep those legs as straight as possible. If you were modifying with one foot down, you would just do the other side right now, okay? Nice and controlled. Pay attention to your core and your back, mostly your back, no back arches, a lap, right? Nobody wants a back archer. Heck no. Okay, so we're gonna go three more and then you're gonna keep your legs up straight. So here's one, here's two, here is three. So what you're gonna do now, you're gonna let your legs come down as far as you feel you can and we're gonna do a half motion. It's a slow pulse, right? So coming down, half up, right? It's a small, up and down, right? Here's my speed, down, up, down, up. So your core is working this whole time, right? You choose how low those legs go, right? If you're down lower, that's fine. You're going down, up, down, up. You've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and you're gonna relax. Hug those knees to your chest, rock side to side. Oh yes. And we're grabbing both dumbbells. So we're gonna do a little bit of tricep action here. Yay! Thank goodness, right? I know. Okay, so both weights are gonna be up. We're still keeping our core tight. Feet get to stay down. You're gonna bend, weights come down your shoulder, and up, right? Bend, and up. If you need lighter weight, you could go down to lighters or you could use one dumbbell instead of two, All right? Pretty simple, not too wild. Okay, you're doing a great job. We've got five more. Here's one, here's two, three, four, and five. Okay, so weights are gonna stay up. We are pressing into our bridge. Now you wanna do alternating triceps, right? If you can't alternate because your weight's too heavy, you could do a pulsing motion with one dumbbell. 
All right, so we're just going side to side, holding that bridge, squeezing those glutes, glute juice. That's what they're called, they're formal name. Okay, so we got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So now we're in our bridge. You're gonna bring those weights together. As our hips come down, you're gonna bend your elbows. Weights will come down behind your head. You'll press up, those weights come up. So we're down and bent and up. Down and up, right? Down and up. You should feel your core on these, right? Your core is tired. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. You're doing a great job. We've got five more. Here's one, one. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, and five. We're gonna relax. Set those weights down. We're going back to our core. So on this, we are gonna start with just a regular old crunch, then we're gonna build into it. So elbows are wide. Make sure you're letting your head rest into those hands. Exhale, we're lifting up. Inhale, coming back. So every time you crunch, you want to make sure that lower back is pushing to that mat, right? Chin staying off our chest. Okay, so now what you're going to do, you're going to have your right leg out straight. As you crunch, that right leg is going to bend in. You kick out, bend and kick. Bend and kick. Bend and kick. Nice and controlled, right? Try to get as close to that knee as you can. Okay, and we got about four more, and then we're going to add to this. So here's one. Two, three, four. So kick that leg out. Now it's going to come up towards you. And then you'll bend in. So each time you're going to crunch. So it'll be a straight leg, a bent knee. Straight leg, bent knee. So straight leg, and then bent. My abs are catching on fire. There's one. We got four to go. Here's two, three, three, four, four, last one, five, five. Right leg stays down. We're going back to just our regular crunch to start with. Exhale up, inhale back, right? Nice and slow and controlled. My arms are cramping up from lifting. That's a good sign, right? All right, and then we're gonna have our left leg out straight. We crunch in, we bend in, All right? We crunch, we bend. Uh -huh. Kissing your knee, All right? I just kissed my knee. I'm just kidding, I didn't come close to it. All right, so if you weren't watching me, you probably believe me. Or you're just thinking she's full of it, All right? You should know that by now though. Okay, we got five more until we add in the leg kick. There's one, two, three, four, and here's five. So now we kick out, lift up and crunch, bend in and crunch, right? Lift and crunch, bend and crunch, lift and crunch, bend and crunch. This is so much fun, right? I know this. You're probably giggling at home like, hey, I love when my abs burn. That's what I say. Okay, you're doing an awesome job. We got five more. There is going to be one. Okay. And two. Mm -hmm. And three. Yep. And a four. Mm -hmm. And a five. And relax. Okay. So go ahead and flip, excuse me, to your stomach. We're gonna be on our hands and our knees. Right, and just so you know, we do have a plank cuts coming up at you. So prep as you need, okay? So we're gonna have one dumbbell and you're gonna have it in your left hand. Our right leg is gonna be out straight. You wanna plant those toes down, okay? So right hand should be right underneath that right shoulder and we're just gonna pull straight up and back. 
Okay, we got five like that and then laugh. Ready? And go. Here's one, two, three, four, five. Now as we lift our right leg lifts, one, two, three, four, five. Now our leg stays up and we lift. One, two, three, four, five. Keep that weight by your side. You're going to kick back and bend and come back. So there's two, three, four, five, and relax. We're going to switch back. So you've got right arm, left leg. So remember, left toes start down. You're in that nice kind of tight core plank. You're going to row up for one, two, three, four, five. Now your left leg gets in on the action. One, two, three, four, five. Keep that leg up. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Keep your elbow in. You're going to kick back and bend. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, go ahead and relax. So we got a real fun plank coming at us here. Okay, so we got a few moves. So on these moves, I'm going to show you what we're doing and then we'll get started. So don't start yet. You get to watch me. Okay, so if you can, you're going to be on your toes. We're going to start by going to each hand and we're going to alternate there. We'll go five to each side, then we'll take a little break. And from there, you're going to have a pike up and you'll reach across to your knee. We'll go five there to each side. Then your last set is going to be to your shin, your ankle, your tiptoes, whatever. So we'll go five to each side. If you need to modify, right, you can be on those knees and go side to side to your hands, right? You can go side to side and reach across. And that's what you would do for each movement. Okay, so first one is just hands. Okay, we're going five to each side. Ready? And go. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a breather. Okay, next one we add that pike up to reach for our knees. Right? Ready? And go. So pike across. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, relax those knees down. Okay, so final move of the day, we're going to those feet, ankle, shins, whatever you can reach, doesn't matter, okay? And if you're modifying, you'll be in that. You can hold a regular plank, you can be on your knees, and reach across if you want it. Okay, ready? And go. So big pike up, you'll reach across. Come back, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And you'll relax. And there you have it. Whew, my shirt was almost cut off. I keep things G-rated here. <laughs>